Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James with The Chart Guys. It is Thursday, August 31st, end of the month, and we'll start a new month starting Friday. So I'm gonna start with longer term charts and then go to shorter term timeframes. So what I'm looking at gold on the monthly is, <clears throat> sorry, is that we're getting this uh, gold, golden cross where we have the, the 20 MA and the 4 and 80 MA is crossing above the 50 MA. Um, and it's been quite a while since we had that 20 MA cross over that 50 MA on the monthly. Uh, last time we had it was pretty far back down here. Back down here in uh, 2002 so it's been years since we've had that that golden cross here of the 20 crossing above the 50 ma so that's something to watch there also on the monthly chart i'm seeing increased volume here um, nice increase in bull volume to close today on the month's candle close today at the end of the trading day uh, we had a nice bullish candle that closed near the highs of, of last month on decent bull volume and we're getting increased bull volume now and uh, closing at the high of, of this month. So looking really great for the bulls here on, on gold here on the really long-term charts. As far as the weekly goes, the weekly looks very nice as well too. And we got it, we have this inside candle here, uh, the high and low within the previous week's high and low. And so basically after we finally broke that 1300, we had a consolidation week there uh, and we're breaking it bull. We're also breaking it on bull on increasing bull volume on the week. So that's nice. And it'll show a lot of strength to me if we close above this upper Bollinger Band on the weekly. And unless we have a big dump tomorrow, we are likely to close bull on this inside candle. And they, we have to close above the high here of 1301.40. And I'm thinking likely we'll get it unless something crazy happens and we have a huge dump day tomorrow. Um, so the next resistance I'm looking at on the weekly here is going to be this high at 1338.30. And you can see that's, that's a big resistance here where we hit it and had a huge dump there. So that's the next resistance. And then, of course, the, the recent highs here at uh, 1377.50. As far as the daily goes, and I said we had an inside candle yesterday's uh, video, but I was incorrect. I just glanced at this quickly, and I thought it was inside candle. But uh, the bottom of the low of this candle dropped out of the, the bottom of this range. So it was an inside candle, but we had a nice bull candle today too, close near the top. So basically seeing a lot of bullish candles here. We had an increase in bull volume from yesterday uh, and close above the upper Bollinger Band. We'll see if we can hold it. Last time we were unable to, saw some profit taking there. And we could consolidate after another big move here. Um, but the short term resistance here is 1331.90, that recent high on the daily to, to watch out for. We are in a bit of uh, overbought territory. Um, so we could see some short-term consolidation um, for a few days. But again, starting with the longer-term charts, the longer term is definitely looking more and more bullish, um, especially after breaking that long-term downtrend line that I've highlighted so many times on that weekly chart for weeks and weeks. I don't know how long. It started, it started back here. It goes like that. We finally broke above it after we rejecting for it so many times. Broke above it. Um, so it's looking really good for the bulls there. As far as the hourly go, what I was watching for today is, we know I knew I had this resistance here on this hourly because of that long upper wick here. And I knew I had support here because of the long lower wick of the dip buying by the bears. And so I was wait, waiting for one of those levels to break. And once we broke that 13, uh, 13 19, 30, um, I, liked, I liked it as a bull. I really liked it as a bull here as well on this, this gave me the first, uh, signal was this bull break here the inside candle we had an inside candle and then we had nice volume come in increasing volume had a bull break uh, had a nice another green close closed above the, pr the previous high and then this big green volume candle consolidated on decreasing volume and then moved higher um, although not on increasing bull volume so everything on gold looks pretty bullish to me short term to the long term really um, but the next resistance we're going to look at is on that daily at 1331.90 
supports. We established some supports here. The low of this hourly consolidation was at 13.2070. It's going to be our first one. Um, and then we're going to look at the low of this, this other consolidation here at 13.1030. Uh, and of course, must hold is the low here of 13.02.30 if something crazy were to happen and we had a, a massive pullback. As far as the uh, miners go, on, on the weekly, as you know, I've been waiting for GDX to cl close or break above the, the recent high here of 23.86. So weekly, lower high, lower high, lower high. Finally breaking to a higher high here um, on this weekly chart. And so it's looking really good here for the, for the bull miners as well. And again, same thing here on the weekly chart. If we get a close above this upper Bollinger Band, looking very nice. It's been tightening here. I uh, would love it to open up just like gold did on the weekly and for the bulls to ride the upper Bollinger Band just like this last time where it squeezed here um, after it was in range for a while and then boom, opened up on weekly and rode it up. So it had some nice upside there. So that's what I'm looking for after, after this uh, consolidation and us breaking to a higher high on the weekly. So looking good as far as the daily goes. Same thing as gold, a little bit overbought. So could see some consolidation short term. Um, we'll see what happens. Have a high of 24.76. So we broke to a higher high on the daily from the recent high by a uh, by two cents. Not that big of a break yet, but again, um, saw some decreasing bear volume here, and then boom, increasing bull volume. So looking for some continuation tomorrow. Again, be careful that this is overbought on the daily, and so we could move in some range here and consolidate further here. Um, before we, our next leg up, something to watch for on the bull miners. So have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow.